like this little feature handles to pull the side off well I've took the screws off and let's take the first side panel off very nice for cable management as you can see it's the drive bays all various takes all various sizes and some adapters included in the box took the other side panel off box of accessories and what else fan number one that comes included two fans at the front so you're getting a total of three fans included as all the cables for the front connections etc um, so I say I love this for the cable management this has got like a rubber grommets in there and that to stop your cables running up against the side the metal sides so um, quite a very quite a nice case I have to admit oh and we've got another fan on the top there's a total of four fans in this case that come with it it's got a nice finish there doesn't seem to be any sharp edges yes I'm very impressed with this case so far very impressed just whip the front bezel off LED lights as well I don't know if you can see that there, one on each side right. took the front bezel off and there you can see the two front fans I believe they're 12 inch Yes, my expectations of this case were high and I have not been disappointed at all so far of course we have a box of accessories that also comes with the tower case that's right, we have screws various screws they're all labelled for their intended use It's also nice to see some cable, I don't know what that is. Only got one of them. And of course we have some cable ties. Hmm. I wonder what that actually is. Just one of them by itself. I'm sure we might find out on the build. What else do we get? Um, I can only assume that as for a floppy drive to 
tidy the front up. And I also get a load of these adapters. I'm presuming, well actually I know what they are. They are SSD adapters and you can also mount fans to these I believe. There's about five or six of them. Anyway, I've just removed the first drive cover. In this computer, I'm not actually going to put a DVD writer in. Because I don't actually use one. I don't remember the last time I used one. Um, everything I should be able, well, everything I will need, I'll be able to download from the internet. But what I will do, I will keep the top one in place, the shield, in case I decided at a later date to put the drive in. I've removed the second one because I'm going to put a memory card reader in the front of that. And that memory card reader also has a couple of additional front USBs, an eSATA connection and a USB 3. So I've just removed the first cover from there. Also Hmm, just to stop the dust getting in, I believe it's got a like a, a foam padding. So anyway, and that's in that second bay, I will put a card reader. So I've removed that. But the first thing that I like to do when building a PC is just to fit the power supply and the I/O, whatever you call it. We'll show you that in a minute. It's an I.O. shield. But yes, let's um, let's crack on and start building. Alright, I'm going to apologise once again because I don't have a tripod. But anyway, let's begin. Let's get this power supply into here. Um, you're going to notice a lot of um, cutting from scene to scene, that's because I'm going to press pause on the camcorder when I come to a difficult part that needs two hands and I'll uh, come straight back. Now on this build I'm going to put the fan facing down but before I do, in fact it doesn't matter, I'm just going to leave it on. just goes in there like that remember you want to make sure you keep everything else all these connectors wires out the way while you're building because things can get crushed and you don't want that happening so you put your power supply in and you just move it back to the back of the case and obviously you want this to line up at the back with the mounting holes now it is going to be a bit of a pain because I've only got one hand because I want it to be able to say as much as possible so I'm going to just press pause again and line that up so as you can see the power supply is now lined up you then take some of the supplied screws you want to fit four of them in fact maybe more than four we've got one two three four five so I'll fit the rest of the screws and I'll come back right so as you can see the power supply has now been secured using the supplied screws to the PC case I'm not using the modular su uh, power supply um, modular means that you can just plug in the cables you need. As you can see, this one's not modular, so all the cables are plugged in, and I can't unplug the spare ones. Um, this was just to keep costs down. As I say, I'm not going to go too greatly into cable management. Once this PC is built, it will be put away, out of sight. Well, not so much out of sight, but I won't be going in and out of the case every day of the week. Um, I will just hide the cables in there and use the 
the nylon cable ties to secure and tidy them up. But anyway, um, the next thing, um, I don't know, I'm going to go and have a look at the box of goods. I think I'm going to put the uh, front memory card reader in place, so I'll be right back. I'll just give you a quick look at the power supply, all secured in the case. There you go. Right, I also bought just a cheap memory card reader. Um, IC box, I've never heard of that supplied before. But as you can see, we have some USB interface. It's a bit uh, main use as a memory card neat reader. Now, I hope, I'm sure I did buy the one that came with the micro SD, so I didn't have to keep messing about looking for adapters. Yes, there it is there. So anyway, this is the uh, the multi card reader. It also has some um, connections on the front. A couple of USBs, well three, an eSATA connector and a USB 3 port. So let's get this out of the box and have a look. Alright, what we got? Oops. Alright, um, so look at the connectors on the back here of this um, card reader. Uh, we've got the connection to the main board. Power supply, so obviously our car reader is going to need power, and but it also gives you another output. So you don't like so when you put power in there, one of them two, I can't remember because it's years since I built one, you also get power back out. I'm going to need to buy a converter because obviously you don't have any USB sockets on your motherboard to plug that in, so you buy a converter. Um, I haven't got one. I'll need to buy a converter, the converter plugs into the motherboard then that USB 3 plugs into the converter and there's the connection for the USB 2 there so it's just a cheap unit just a, card, just a cheap card reader a couple of additional USB 2 ports so I believe I'm going to have to put that in an adapter, so I will show you that in just a second. In fact, just before I do, I'll just take it out of its bag. And there it is there. That is the internal card reader. Everything's black, it's hard to show you because the lighting's not very good in this house. But we'll get that looked at and I will be back in a second and um, this is only a 3.5 inch memory card reader I probably should have bought a, a 5 inch 5 and something inch but never mind as you can see I've got one of these adapter plates so we will fit it to the adapter plate these came with the motherboard so I'll fit that there with the supplied screws just like that Right, so as you can see, I have now mounted that memory recorder in a drive. Um, what the hell do you call it? An expansion, an expansion, expansion bracket, whatever it is. Anyway, that's in there, nice and snug like that. Right, we have the uh, memory card reader installed. Remember when I showed you the case earlier on in the video there was a hard drive adapter bezel so the bezel has went over the top of that and made that look lovely. That is now in complete. So we have the power supply fitted even though it's not 
connect it to anything. We have the front memory card reader, starting to lose light. And it's all black, so we now have the front memory card reader in. The next thing we want to do is fit the hard drive into one of these bay areas, and we'll also fit the SSD solid state drive. Alright, the next item is the Toshiba mechanical hard drive. Two terabyte. As you can see it's the OEM version. It just means it's it doesn't come with a box etc. Not that we need a box. But let's get this unpackaged and get it into the tower, into the case. Now we have the SATA Toshiba hard drive again. I'm going to now put this into the case. It's going to go, I'm going to put it on the bottom. This will be, even though I'm putting this in first, this will be number one or two. Plugs into the SATA port on the motherboard. I'm going to put that right down there into the bottom. And um, there we have the hard drive installed. Well, the mechanical hard drive. And the next one is going to be the SSD. Now I have one, I have three mounting brackets left so what I think I'll do is we'll go one two three yes we've got three so I'm going to leave a space here for another mechanical if I want to fit one at the other date we'll leave another one here and we'll put the SSD drive up here Alright, so here is the SSD drive, the Toshiba. Don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need any of these instructions. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. This is what we're interested in. There's basically no weight whatsoever in this. Now I need to fit this in the into one of the adapters. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so I have the power supply in. Mechanical drive and the SSD drive is hiding up there. The next job is going to be install the motherboard. Before we install the motherboard, we're going to install the I.O. shield. That clips into that rectangle hole up there next to the fan. Right, I've jumped a little bit ahead here because time's getting on and I want to use my new PC. And this was never ever going to be a how-to video. It was really just me videoing my build. So anyway, we've got the motherboard. I've already installed the processor and the heatsink fan stock cooler now I'm going to install the RAM right we have the motherboard now fully mounted inside the case so we've got the power supply we've got a mechanical hard drive We've got an SSD drive, we've got the motherboard, we've got 8 gig of RAM, two 4 gigabyte sticks, we've got the processor which is under that fan and heatsink. I'm now going to get myself a cup of coffee. Um, you will notice I've not put the graphics card or anything else in, that's fine. And um, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to leave that like that. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I'm going to come back to this. 
and we haven't got much more to do, we've got to plug everything in and we've got a graphics card to fit we've got a wireless card to fit and it should be a case of then switching it on and um, installing a copy of Windows 7 and that should be it and there's the connectors at the back of the motherboard USB 3, USB 2, HDMI video out etc. We're not going to really, well we're not, we're not going to use the video out features on here I've got a dedicated graphics card which we are going to be using so I'll uh, see you guys shortly, bye for now right before I put the graphics card in and before I put the network card in I'm going to actually connect some things up so so hot you can't really see because it's it's too dark. I've started. You can see it's a bit of a mess. We've got wires everywhere. But we will tidy them up. And I'm going to start connecting the front USB ports, the audio, the on-off switch, and the reset switch. Then I'm going to connect the hard drives to the motherboard. So. I'll crack on a bit more. And hopefully get this built tonight. Right, well I skipped ahead, time was getting on, but um it's all fitted. And more importantly, it all works. That is the BIOS screen. <coughs> Um, we'll go through that later on, but that is just amazing, purely amazing. Fan spinning nicely, CPU fan spinning, front two fans are spinning, basically it all works. Well obviously I don't know if it all works yet because I haven't got windows on it, so I'm going to now install windows via a USB stick which I already have set up so join me again soon just installing windows Should be quicker than normal this because we've got the SSD drive. <coughs> do to do, do do just a waiting game. Just gotta wait. <coughs> 